I've learned that you can tell a lot about people by looking in the trunks of their car. I've learned that you have a lot of loving families. It's amazing what you can do without. And I've learned that when you begin to ask yourself if it's your fault, it usually is. I've learned that when my older sister says that she'll be out of the bathroom in five minutes, I should just go sit down and start reading War and Peace. I've learned that it's better to hear from your children and grandchildren when they want something than to never, never hear from them at all. I've learned that the sticky price tags on items purchased at a discount store are always harder to remove than the price tags on items purchased at a prestigious store. And I've learned that a woman who can potty train triplets can do anything. I've learned that the more content I am with myself, the fewer material things that I need. And I've learned the most endearing three little words, three little words that I could say to my wife are, let's eat out. I've learned that you should never leave home without a sense of humor. I've learned that you're never too old to be tucked in. I've learned that making sure my best friend is happy is almost as important as making sure I'm happy. And I've learned that the word oops is not in God's vocabulary. I've learned that true friends are the ones who don't put pressure on you to do bad things. And I've learned that I cry each time I watch Father of the Bride. And I've learned that if I had to listen to mom, I would have avoided 90% of life's problems. And I've learned that we are judging by what we, we are, are judged by what we finish, not by what we start. I've learned that the friend that you've just met can be a truer friend than the one you've known all your life. And I've learned that you should never pull a loose tooth with tweezers. I've learned that you get the best feeling when you return home after a long absence and you see that everything is just the same as when you left. And I've learned that people tend to rise in accomplishments that they thought were beyond them if you show them by the confidence that they do it. And I've learned that the desire to have a positive impact on life of each person I meet every day has an even bigger impact on my life. And I learned that the easiest way to get grounded is to interrupt my mother during Seinfeld. And I've learned that I can never go to Walmart and just buy one thing. I've learned that breaking rules always has consequences, especially if I've broken my own rules. And I've learned that good advice is no better than poor advice unless you use it. I've learned that no one was put here to be in charge to make me happy. That's my job. I've learned that every time I call someone I haven't spoken to in a long time, they say, I was just going to call you. I've learned that you should never be grateful for all you have. I've learned that you should be grateful for all that you have, even if it isn't enough. I've learned that the clothes I like best are the ones that have the most holes in them. I've learned that the older my parents get, the sweeter their voices sound. And I've learned that change is a challenge for the courageous and an opportunity for the alert and the threat to the insecure. I've learned that my cat purrs loudest when he's lying on my book I'm trying to read. I've learned that the willpower is the ultimate power. I've learned the smell of the kitchens of all the scents in the world. I've learned the big problem, big problems are no match for big brave hearts. I've learned that words are the most powerful weapon in the world and should be used with extreme caution. I've learned that nothing tastes as sweet as a kiss from a child who's just sucked on a lollipop. I've learned that the more I respect and give respect to my parents, the more respect they give me. And I've learned that the greatest love always shows up unexpectedly and sometimes in the most uncommon place. I've learned that love isn't something that you look for, it's something that you give. I've learned that I should never go in my parents' bedroom on Sunday nights. I've learned that no matter what ailment you go to the doctor for, it feels better once you get there. And I've learned that there's a big difference between two cloves of garlic and two bulbs of garlic. I've learned that wisdom is not how much you know, but how much you use what you know. I've learned that nothing is impossible for a man who doesn't have, who doesn't have to do it himself. I've learned that the older I get, the more I say, I don't know. When I was younger, I thought I knew everything. I learned that a wealthy person is the one who's content with what he has. And I've learned that you can miss a lot of good things in life by having the wrong attitude. I've learned that I'm thankful for my parents' boundaries and their rules. And I've learned that a shoe shine box made by my eight-year-old son at a vacation Bible school is the most prized possession, is my most prized possession. I've learned that the day you begin a diet, someone wants to take you to dinner to your favorite restaurant. And I've learned that even God sometimes needs a little time to think things over. I've learned that dreams are where you want to go and work is how you get there. And I've learned that it's not what you have in your life, but 
what you have in your life that counts. And I've learned that the best therapy in the world is a driving my convertible on a sunny day with no destination in mind. I've learned that when my mom says, we'll, we'll talk about this later, the answer is really no. I've learned that you know you're in love when you don't have to ask anyone else if you are. I've learned that if you enjoy being a guest, you must sometimes be a host. I've learned that nothing is quite as good as the first scoop of peanut butter right out of a new jar. I've learned that if the one you're with doesn't make you a better and stronger person, you're with the wrong person. I've learned that if you want an honest answer about how you look, ask your little sister. I've learned that God doesn't ask you to be the best, just to do your best. I've learned that you can make anyone smile if you give them a box of crayons and a coloring book. I've learned that I should never pinch my husband's nostrils together while he's snoring. I've learned that you should never walk on ice with your hands in your pockets. I've learned that if you do not expect a thank you, giving is easy. If you don't expect a thank you, giving is easy. I've learned that a daughter is never too old to hug and kiss her father in public. I've learned that it's discouraging to go swimsuit shopping with someone who wears a size 3. I've learned that because I have four children, ages 19, 16, 13, and 8, there's no real purpose for that snap on my wallet. I've learned that when your grandma says your feet smell a little, they really stink. I've learned that anything lasts only a short time is not worth making a lifetime sacrifice for. And I've learned that if you don't want to forget something, stick it in your underwear drawer. I've learned that if you tell a girl you love her, she will hit you. I've learned that when my response to rudeness is kindness, I feel better. I've learned that it's embarrassing to have glamour photographs made of yourself and have someone else not even recognize that it was you. I've learned that the only thing you do in your first year of college is gain weight and the next three years you're trying to lose it. I've learned that about the only time my boss will return my phone calls is five minutes before I arrive in the morning, five minutes after I leave in the evening, or when I've gone to lunch. I've learned that you shouldn't be so eager to find out a secret. It could change your life forever. And I've learned that men don't do laundry because washing machines don't have remote controls. I've learned that anticipation is often better than the real thing. I've learned that animals can sometimes warm your heart better than people can. I've learned that that panicky feeling you get when your purse is I've learned that the panicky feeling you get when your purse is missing is difficult to surpass. And I've learned that doing volunteer work is one way for me to repay life for all the wonderful things that I have been given. And I've learned that time spent with your kids pays a lifetime of dividends. I've learned that the only surprise a box of cereal holds these days is the price. I've learned that no matter how old I get, I like my mom taking care of me when I'm sick. I learned that whenever I leave home without my makeup on, I run into my ex-boyfriend. I learned that you shouldn't let anyone apologize to you through a closed door. I learned that good manners are always in style. That's right. I've learned that sticking to my values has not always made the road easy, but it has made me a stronger person by having traveled a harder route. I've learned that no matter where I go or where I visit, my favorite place in the world is my room. I've learned that no matter how much I fight or how much you fight with your siblings during childhood, they grow up to be some of your best friends in your adult life. And I've learned that when your teenager says, I hate you, respond by saying, I love you. I've learned that a diet is a penalty we pay for exceeding the food limits. I've learned that I can't attend my child's school performance without a tissue in hand. I've learned that I know I've had a great day if I come home and my clothes are dirty. And I've learned that when I want something done around my house, all I have to do is mention it to my dad that I'm going to do it myself. I've learned that when my dad and I jog together, it strengthens our relationship and each other's bodies as well. I've learned that you leave a little piece of yourself with everyone you teach. And I've learned that wherever I go, the world's worst drivers have followed me there. And I've learned that when you've worried, I've learned that when you're worried, give your troubles to God and he'll be up all night anyway. I've learned that if you're too embarrassed to tell your best friend about something that you've done, you shouldn't have probably done it in the first place. I've learned that saying forgive me is not the hardest thing of some people for some people to say. Saying you are forgiven seems to be most difficult. And I've learned that traffic lights and golf balls never do anything you tell them to, no matter how much you shout at them. 
I've learned that my car runs better going home. I've learned that what my girl keeps teasing, keeps on teasing you and says that she doesn't like you and she bugs you all the time. She really likes you. I've learned that I'm a special person. I've been saving. I've learned that I'm the special person I've been saving the good dishes for. I've learned that two people can look at the same exact thing and see something totally different. I've learned that when you say the phrase, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but you've already said too much. I've learned that if you can't fit in a van, you probably can't fit in a dorm room. I've learned that you're not always perfect on the first try. I've learned that giving flowers makes you just as happy as receiving them. I've learned that if you want peace and quiet, don't buy your four-year-old a whistle, no matter how much he begs. I've learned that you should never cut or highlight your own hair. I've learned that a well-reared child results in rewarding grandchildren and even the fourth generation. I've learned that no matter, how, no matter how hard you try, you can't get ice out of a freezer without dropping at least one cube. I've learned that saying, saving is just like dieting. It's never too late to start. I've learned that if your peanut butter and jelly don't leak out on the sandwich, there's not enough peanut butter and jelly on it. And I've learned that it's not a good idea to put bubble baths in jacuzzis. I've learned that there should be an eleventh commandment. Thou shall not whine. I've learned that... It is fun when my mom lets me carve my initials in a new jar of peanut butter. And I've learned that my hair will be perfect on the nights I'm home alone and unmanageable when I have a date. I've learned that I should never have spent so much time freaking out over my wedding. Everything I was so worried about turned out to be very trivial in the long run. I mean, I should have relaxed and just enjoyed the moment. I've learned that you should never tell your 14-year-old brother that you can beat him up unless you're sure you can. I've learned that an unpleasant task doesn't get easier the longer you put it off. I've learned that before you make fun of a certain car, make sure your boyfriend's parents don't own one. I've learned that you're never too old to hold your father's hand. And I've learned that it's a good marriage when both mates think that they got better than they deserve. I've learned that I shouldn't keep dating my boyfriend just because he's good at fixing my car. I've learned that when there's something unpleasant to do, do it first. I've learned that all cars lose the new car smell, no matter how much they cost. I've learned that the speedy service signs of fast food drive through windows are there to make you laugh. I've learned to appreciate home-cooked meals, especially the ones I don't have to cook. And I learned that when your children complain about doing household chores, you simply tell them that they're either tenants or family members. And if they're tenants, they better pay some rent. And if they're family members, they assume responsibilities. I've learned that when your, ch when your children first get their driver's licenses, you are willing to drive them anywhere. I've learned that you should never count your money while sitting in a moving car with the window open. I've learned that you don't have to keep running after, you, after you've caught the bus. I've learned that to save yourself the price of a facelift, just smile a lot. I've learned that. I know that there are angels around me protecting me, but sometimes I feel as if they're off duty. I've learned that in my old age, you spend half of your time looking for the bathroom and the other half trying to remember people's names. I've learned that excellent service from someone deserves a letter written to that person's boss and a request that a letter be placed in an employee's personal file. Again, I've learned that an excellent service from someone deserves a letter written. I've learned that it's better to invite guests on a rainy day as dust doesn't show as much when it's sunny. I've learned that every day we offer twice as many opportunities as problems. We are offered twice as many opportunities as problems, then problems. As learned that you're never too old for a water gun fight. And I've learned that good habits are the shortest route to the top. I've learned that the best answer my mother gave me as a child was, because I'm the mom and that's why. I've learned that by the time I can afford it, I don't really even want it anymore. And I've learned that sometimes watching a child fail is the most important and the most painful but necessary thing a parent can endure. I've learned that children stop being children, but you never stop being their mother. And I've learned that simple truths remain and things that really matter rarely ever changed. I've learned that self-discipline, courage, and good character are impregnable to the assault of bad luck. And I've learned that in a divorce, only the lawyers come out ahead. And I've learned that I do not have to be perfect 
all the time for my family to love me.